G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, and welcome to this little mini series on editing Zeus V11. Uh, today's first video would be to give you more shader options. So at the moment, when you come in to edit Sonic Eater's shaders, it will be set on custom, which would have to be roughly ultra, I would say. But as you can see, you're very limited in the amount of shader options that he's given you. And this will be a very, very quick and easy fix if you want to have more control over extra bits of his shader. So let's get started. So I always recommend creating a new folder and extracting the shaders folder from his zip file and just dump it into a new folder. Once you've done that, double click the folder and come down to shader properties. Right click and edit with notepad plus plus. So in here there's a whole heap of stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a new screen. So we'll add in screen dot misc. You put equals and star. Once you've done that, you also need to come up to the screens part here, push space, do the two squared brackets, and just put in misc as well. Once you've done that, hit save. And you just need to go back in and double click on the shader. Once you've done that, you'll have this misc button within your shader options. And in there, you'll have you know, access to the rest of his effects if you want. So you can turn bloom off, uh, you can access his waving stuff. Just a couple of extra things that he didn't actually put in himself. And there you go. That's how you access extra shader options within Zeus V11. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.